Hey guys, so today I will be talking about the upcoming project that I am working on and I'm very glad to uh, tell you that I have received all the components that I need to make all these videos. Now, I was not able to post videos recently because we were in a curfew and uh, many of my uh, components was was broken and I was not able to make videos for you guys and I, you, if you remember I was working on this, uh, on this transmitter and this drone also if you guys have watched my previous video but uh, i was not able to post that video again because my uh, audio got tried it was got broken uh, about three or five audios got broken and since there was a lockdown in my country and i was not able to uh, buy uh, all the components that i need to make that video but uh, i have received all most of my components now that i need to make all the videos that i have planned for the next few months and you guys will be very interested in these uh, in these projects because you can make it yourself and i will in these videos i will explain uh, everything in details so that you guys can make this project yourself and uh, i would also like to thank my supporters who have helped me to buy all these components you guys have helped me through uh, uh, the links that i have shared in my description uh, buy me a coffee or patreons and i was able to uh, buy these components so that i can make these these videos for you guys so a very big thanks to uh, my supporters and i would like to uh, talk about the project that i am uh, working on and uh, i'm sure you guys will be very interested in this uh, in this project first of all i am working on a a, a mini drone if you guys remember i have uh, uh made some drones earlier but i guess my uh, very first drone that i made was using these uh, uh propeller and gear and you guys have uh, have uh, uh emailed me and talk about uh, talk to me about the problem that you guys have been uh, having and uh, Actually, I uh, at first everything was working fine for me also, but uh, at uh, some point I started getting the problem that uh, you guys was having, and I've done a lot of research and I was able to uh, to resolve those problems. And in my upcoming videos, actually I will be making a smaller drone which costs even less than the previous uh, drones. And uh, this video, uh, in this drone, I will uh, I will solve the problem that uh, you guys have been uh, having with the previous uh, drone. Okay, so I will be uh, actually cloning the DJI Telo. If you guys uh, know the DJI Telo, it's actually the smallest drone uh, from DJI, and um, I will be cloning it using the Arduino, of course. I will be programming it and uh, uh, every and the flight controller, the receiver, and the transmitter will be based on the Arduino. Now, for the Arduino, I will be using the RF Nano for the for the uh, DJI Tele clone. And uh, if you guys uh, can buy it, you uh, it will be good if you can buy two of it for the transmitter and the receiver because the 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 receiver and the flight controller will be on the same board. Uh, so if you guys can buy two of it, uh, it will be very good for you guys. Uh, you can make, you can use one as the transmitter and the other one as the receiver or, uh, slash uh, flight controller. Alternatively, if you don't have this one, you can use the regular Arduino Nano or even Arduino Pro Mini, uh, the five volt version. Okay, so you can use these also but uh, for the wireless communication you will have to use the regular nof uh, uh, 2401 module okay now uh, let's focus this okay so uh, we will be using the nof for the radio communication but uh, i recommend you to use this one for the transmitter but when using uh, the nof for the receiver i will recommend you to use the nrf 2401 smd version so this is actually the smaller it it is the smaller version of the nrf okay so you can see here how it more how small it is compared to the other one 
Okay, so you can just solder it uh, according to the circuit that I will be showing you guys and uh, how to make this uh, res uh, this NOF into uh, a wireless communication for your drone. Okay, so I will be using this one for the receiver because I only have uh the one only one version of only one uh, of the you know of the of nano so i will be using another one uh, like this for the uh, transmitter and receiver okay so this will be for the dji kilo and for this i will be using uh, I, actually i will make uh, i will be making another one another transmitter which will look uh, exactly like the new DJI uh, remote control and it will be using this joystick now this joystick you have uh, two two actually uh, two option for joystick you can have this one this is for professional uh, radio communication and this is uh, if you guys know, uh, remember this is from uh, the PlayStation remote controller but it is very cheap compared to this one this is around uh, $10 and this one is only about $1 so you can see the huge difference but uh, you, you I will explain to you which one to use when and how to use each one because this when using this one things get a little more complicated so i will explain uh which one to use okay and uh, also i am working on a brushless dc motor drone so the drone will be using the brushless dc motor instead of the coolest motors from uh, from the dji from the dji Tele clone that i will be making and this one will be more powerful but the most interesting thing about this one is that i will be cloning the dji uh, mavic using this uh process dc motor and why i'm telling you guys why why i'm telling you guys this because if you guys are familiar with the dji drone if you guys have only dji drone or if you guys have watched the dji drone videos on youtube and all you you probably seen how uh, the drone is uh the fact that it uh, can uh, lock its position and also its altitude so if even if you have a remote control and if you let go of the remote control and just uh, uh, keep the or you know uh, the the drone there it will stay still at a fixed position uh, and at a fixed altitude so this is done using the gps the gps locks its position and also the barometric sensor uh, I have with me the MS5611 uh, barometric sensor. This is used to uh, lock its altitude. So I will be implementing this in uh, my uh, upcoming drone, which is very interesting. It is uh, very uh, complicated, but I will be explaining everything in detail so that you can explain it yourself. And most importantly, it is uh, it costs you uh, way less than an actual uh, DJI drone, it, uh, we will uh, try to make it as uh, cost effective as possible and uh, also with the GPS you will have the return to home feature so I will be implementing the return to home feature that means if you uh, lost uh, communication with your drone your drone will automatically uh, return to the first uh, point where you started your drone so this will also be very interesting you guys might uh, might not want to miss that project because uh, it is very interesting and you guys will enjoy that video also and also talking about drones one of the most important thing of drone is batteries and i have with me a different kind of battery this one is the lithium ion battery this is actually a 1S lithium ion battery. This one is from Samsung and this one is a Chinese clone, I guess. And uh, I will be using this for my DJI Kilo actually because uh, it has a how higher uh, higher uh, mini amp hour. And uh, I will also be using the lithium ion lithium polymer battery for the DJI Tilo. I will test each and every uh, one and will tell you which one is best because you can uh, actually uh, uh, 
you can feel that uh, this is very light and it uh, it will be very uh, useful in drone application now if you guys are familiar with drones you guys will know that you know, we mostly use lithium polymer battery but uh, these guys are very expensive and uh, is is very difficult to get uh, if you guys have it in your country if any electronic uh, store uh, sell it it's uh, it will be good but if you try to order it up from abroad uh, you guys will face a lot of problem in receiving that because uh, they don't ship it, it because it is it is very dangerous dangerous so it i will be making my drone using this lithium uh, ion battery because it is lighter it is more accessible you can get it uh, at um, at your local uh, electronic store or even online they will uh, ship this one for you and also it has a lower uh, voltage uh, dissipation so you can dis uh, you can uh, discharge it to a maximum of 2.9 volt compared to a, a lithium ion lithium polymer battery you can discharge it up to 3.7 volt itself so you will get a longer flight time with a lithium lithium ion battery so in in the in the next project i will be using this uh, actually i will be using both uh, both of these batteries and i will uh, show you guys which one is better okay and also i am also working on a vision positioning system if you guys know about dji uh, again uh, Although they use GPS for the for the positioning, so they lock their position using GPS. But in those such as the DJI Kilo, they actually use the vision positioning system. And I'm also working on project to clone that and to uh, to be able to use this feature in my drone. I will be using the Raspberry Pi Zero. Actually, this one is the Raspberry Pi Zero W, which has Wi-Fi uh, integrated in it, and I will be using its camera to implement the uh, vision positioning system. Okay, and I have with me the GPS that I will be using for this project. This is the Ublox, the Ublox Neo 6M, and you can get up to 12 satellites at a time. Uh, with this GPS so it will be very useful for the uh, GPS locking and also the return to home feature for the drones and I have many more uh, components here that are actually spare parts uh, if any of these uh, guys uh, get broken I will have a spare parts to replace it and I will also try I will also uh, want to uh, talk about this um, mini uh rusted dc motor actually this is uh very small compared to that uh, brushed dc motor and this one also i will be using to make uh, an fpv drone using the arduino and but this will be a later project because i have not yet received the propeller for uh this uh rusted dc motor so i will make a, a video about that drone later and also if you guys have watched my uh, videos previously you will know that i have made a, a, a 3d printer also in my channel i have uh, shown you how to make that 3d printer yourself but uh, i was not able to complete that series because i lost the file uh, for uh, some uh, for some uh, video series okay so uh, but unfortunately i have got some problem uh, with my 3d printer there have been some layer shifting if you guys can see here so there was some layer shifting when uh, when uh, printing uh, uh, something recently and uh, this was mainly due to the rover rails that i was using in my 3d printer so i will be changing my 3d printer also and i will be showing showing you how I, I am making that and how you can make it yourself where to buy all the components and I will be changing the design itself and you guys will want to uh, look at that video also if you want to make a 3d printer or you can just watch the videos how it's made and also 
I have a lot of printing going on for the 3D printer so some of uh, the the prints are still going on I have print some of, of the parts for it but uh, some of it are still under under production so it's printing and I will be also using the FPV uh, camera for the drones I will show you how to use this guy also in the drone uh, you can get a live feeding in your uh, in your mobile phone in your smartphone with this camera so this will be uh, uh, the project that I am working on that I I am uh, that I am able to tell you but there are also uh, other video, other projects that I am working on but I will tell you about it later when I finish all these videos all the videos that i have talked uh, with you okay so thank you guys uh, for watching this video but uh, make sure to uh, keep yourself free for next tuesday and next uh, saturday at 5 p.m gmd best well because that will be the time that i will be uh, sharing the video with you guys and it will be an interactive session so you will be able to chat with me and if you want you can support me through super chat but you will also be able to chat with me and you have if you have any problem uh, with your project we will be able to ask me question and i will be able to uh, explain to you guys how to solve it and all the videos that i will be uh, making i will explain everything in detail even the programming i will explain everything in detail what changes you need to make in order to adapt to your project and if you are getting uh, any problem with your project uh, how to solve it everything i will be telling you in the upcoming video so i think i have covered uh, most of the thing uh, that uh, i will be working on but uh, stay tuned for all these videos and Keep supporting my channel so that I can make many more videos uh, for you guys. And if you guys have already subscribed to my channel, uh, you will be able to get those uh, uh, You will be able to get the notification when I release the video. But if you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel and if you're interested in this kind of product uh, projects. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you will be able to uh, get uh, the most out of those videos okay so thank you guys uh, and uh, see you in my next videos